The next thing we're going to do is remove the hand screws. A little bit of water will come out the bottom. Make sure that you're holding a towel. Our hand screws will go to the sink for washing. Grab both sides of the discharge door and remove evenly. As you remove the auger, prepare to grab the beater blades. Using a towel, grab the rear shell bearing and pull that out and then pull out the ripple seal. We've got all of our pieces removed and set out for further disassembly and then we will take them and wash them. This tool is the easiest way to get these O-rings off. Unscrew the retention nut and pull out the retention pin and remove the handles. Flip the discharge door over, move the tabs so that you can grab them and pull off the star caps. Push out the valve bodies, grab your O-ring tool and remove the O-rings. Start with the back. If you remove this one first, this one's just going to fall into that groove. The H-ring goes into the middle piece and stops the two products from mixing. Be careful not to break the H-ring when you pull it off. Remove the metal from the scraper blades. It's important to do this because there will be products stuck in between the scraper blade and the metal clip. Our remaining pieces do not require any disassembly.